Okay, here's uh, the question. The question says uh, a 400 kg object is on an incline that forms an angle of 35 degrees to the horizontal and it is being pushed up the incline by a force Q which forms an angle of 20 degrees to the plane, to the surface. So the force that we have, it forms an angle 20 degrees to the plane and it is pushing this object going upwards <clears throat> and they ask how much force should be applied at Q in order to move the object up the incline at a constant velocity. So the first thing that you have to ask yourself is where are we pushing this object? This object is going up and we know that going up it is the friction force plus the sliding force. Okay so what I advise is that you break down most of your work most of your work is with this guy most of your work is with this guy and understanding what to do with it. With the sliding force, there's not much work to be done. And then remember what I said, these are friction forces. So do not deal with the 400 kg. Quickly convert that to, to a weight. You multiply this by 9,8. Uh, uh, 400 times 9,8 it gives you 3,920 newtons. So we won't be dealing with the 400 kg, but we'll be dealing with the 3920 newtons that is the weight of the object so always deal with the weight and then with the sliding force there's not much of work to be done so i'll start with this one always start with the easiest it is it is better that we start with the easiest go to the toughest so i'll break down this before i just jump into this formula i'll break down this my sliding force is equals to the weight sine theta of the incline so i'll just say 3920 sine 35 it will give me uh, 2 which we did in the previous question 2 4 comma uh, 4 2 newtons okay so we have dealt with that force that is the sliding force that is being experienced here okay the plus is because we are going up then with this one now it becomes a bit of a challenge because friction force is equals to the coefficient of friction times the normal reaction now remember what we said this normal reaction now it also poses another challenge to say it is not just equals to the uh, weight cost the angle of the incline it is also being minus this normal reaction it is being sorry not minus it is being added to this force because the component of this is being added so we'll say q sine the, the perpendicular component of this to the surface sine 20 okay and it is being added to that so the normal reaction remember this the normal reaction uh, the weight cause the angle of the incline which is 35 then we are adding to this q sine 20 okay so we do it separate like that uh, i think it it makes life easy if we do it like that unlike you try to throw everything in there so we, we place in our values we have 0.54 that is the coefficient of friction of that surface our our weight is 3920 cos uh, our incline 35 then we say plus q sine 20 okay remember again the reason why we are adding is because uh the force q is pushing this object against the surface that's the reason why we add if it was the other way around will be minusing but uh, for this example we are adding to that so we 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 simplify this before we can throw it there or if you want you can take all of this you throw it there but i advise that you simplify it separate before we can jump to this so what we have is uh, this will round will take us if we calculate this will take us to 1733,981 which we got in the previous then we are adding because this 0 0.454 times that Q it gives us 0 0.185 and the Q still remains so what we just need is this we can't solve for it so we need this and we'll place it in there okay so this has been dealt with all right then the last component that you need to deal with is this uh, force going upwards now the force going upwards we're just going to assume that we are pushing this object vertically upwards okay so what you do is you're just taking the vertical the sorry the 
horizontal component of this that is parallel which will be q cos 20 i hope you can see that uh, uh, uh mark of mine all right so that is the only thing that we do with this then we we are done with this so our formula with these two one two and three you can just substitute and then calculate all right so what we have is q cos 20 is equals to this one seven three three comma nine eight one plus uh, zero comma one eight five q okay so this is this guy alone the uh, the friction force then we add to this part now let me just create some space Two two four eight comma four two. Okay, now remember it's a plus. This plus is that one. This plus is from the other one. Then from this point, it's just a matter of now uh, calculating. Uh, cost twenty. You calculate and so on. Keep in mind we are solving for this. Okay, so uh, apologies for the for the using the, the, the green marker there. Hope you can see, but then uh, from this part, if we if you are able to deal with these individually, and you are able to come up with this up to this part, this is where all our engineering science ends. From this point up until the end, I think this is just your mathematics, and you just know to substitute, how to add and minus, uh, collect the like terms together, then you'll be able to get to your final answer. However, I try to do this. Uh, and then my marker, I don't know if it is quite clear. But from this point up until our final answer, that's where our mathematics skills come in. From this part, that is where our engineering science comes in. So again, I'll just uh, go through. We are still going up, so it's a plus. If we were going down to be a minus, then this plus depends on where this force is going. Whether is it pushing the object against the surface or is it lifting? So here we can have a minus or we can have a plus. And also, if this object was going down, we would be having a minus there. And now also it depends that sign there.